Welcome to Staying Relevant. Next up is an episode I don't actually remember recording. I've just been told about it and it's taken me a good 10 minutes worth of for me to remember any part of it. It's a good one. Make sure you listen. Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast with Sam Thompson and icon love heart that is Peter Jane, not heartthrob. That's what I was going for. Icon and heartthrob that is Peter James Wicks. I, I wish, in fact, I'm going to get onto this, the, the whole icon thing, um, because you've done something this week that I found rather embarrassing. But we'll get onto that. Um, I'm going to be swearing, and this week I'm drinking coffee, but I may need a beer, um, so uh, I could possibly be drinking. If you don't like that, then go... And before we get started, of course, you can find us on YouTube every single Friday on the visuals and you can catch us audio wise every single Monday, wherever you get your podcast. And we also have a TikTok and an Instagram at Staying Relevant. You can get all our like best bits and stuff. And Sam keeps forgetting, despite the fact that he loves it, but we're also on Snappy C. We are on Snappy C. Uh, otherwise known as Snapchat. He got me a Yazoo, by the way. How lovely is that? Anyway, well, you don't need coffee, do you? In fact, you on coffee must be hell. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I've only done it twice. Yeah, don't ever do it again. <laughs> I've literally been on coffee twice. It's pretty intense. Um, were you on coffee when you bought that top? <laughs> no, we're not doing this. I've got a really lovely top. It's right? toweling. No, it is a ta- it's a toweling. It is a toweling. It's toweling and it is vile. It's a part of a toweling two-piece. It's a two-piece? Yeah, it's a toweling two-piece. My God. That is appalling. I've got the toweling shorts to if go you with it. Toweling, you'd look like a deck chair. <laughs> it is absolutely horrific. I love the way you know what toweling is. Why would I not know what that is, but you would? Well, no, only because Zara gets loads of toweling two pieces. So I, I decided to yeah, get one. Zara's a girl. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But I actually, I, I looked in the wardrobe this morning and I went, do you know what? I'm going to wear something that Pete can't take the piss out of me for. Mm. And I went, that, do you know what? That's going to be a good None look. It was clean. It is that bad. Um, anyway, right. So uh, let's just get straight into it, shall we? Get straight, straight into it. <laughs> let's get straight into it. Let's dive in. Okay. Head first. Wonderful. Um, what have you been up to this week? In fact, I'm going to tell you what you've been up to this week. I don't even know um, what I've been up to. Sam has done some interviews this week. Has he? You did some press this week because I was tagged in a story. Oh, no. Um, where Sam was asked about me. I don't even know what I've done. <laughs> I can't even... Sam was asked about me, and it is, um, well, it was an interesting one. The The title of the the story is basically Sam saying that I'm quite boring. Oh, yeah! Um, but th- it then went into, this is a few other little questions, blah, blah, blah. Sam's response to someone who, who I presume had asked, them, asked you about my love life. Yeah, yeah. And because I know you don't like talking about your love life. Was, he's never actually up to no good now. He barely even dates. <laughs> he's a saint when he's out, but Pete is like a magnet. He doesn't like talking to people on a night out. And for some reason, when we go out together, I'm relentless chat, chat, chat. I'm all over the gaff. He will just sit in the corner at the bar on his own. He'll have a drink, and as the hours roll by, I'll float around like a social butterfly, trying to get people to like me, and he'll just be sat at the bar on his own in silence, not giving a shit. By the end of the night, I'll have no one to talk to, and he'll have a crowd of 30 people surrounding him like he's Michael McIntyre. Quite a funny bloke. He doesn't even speak. The non-talking brings people in. I've never seen anything like it. I maintain, and trust me, he'll hate it when I say this, I think Pete Wicks is an icon. A genuine icon. He's the greatest bloke. Anything wrong with that? Tell me what's wrong with that. But why? What the fuck is the point of that? Because they asked me about... Why you just say I don't really know? Well, because I do know. Well, you don't know because that's a lie. That's not a lie at all. Are you joking? That is an absolute that's not, no, it's lie. not. You literally sit at the bar. You don't speak to anybody. You just that you, is the biggest lie. You literally sit there, and by the end of the night, you've got a crowd of people around you, and you haven't said a word. That is the biggest lie I've ever heard. It's not. You sit moody in the corner, okay. drinking what drink you're having. Can we just point out that almost everyone in this group, actually, no, that's a lie. Three of you have been out with me on a night out. Do I just say nothing, or I am? Actually, quite loud. Life and soul. No, but, he's, but the point I'm making is that Pete will just, he will set up shop. 
somewhere. He'll like put up a tent. Yeah, I don't like to walk. Around. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's what I mean. He has like a base. He has like a home base. And that's where he sits for the whole evening. And he'll be one arm on the bar. He'll be one of them bar stools. And he'll just be like a revolving door of drinks being like, oh, and anytime someone comes up to him, be like, oh, do you want a tequila? All right, so we'll do a tequila. Then they'll stay because it's like, oh, I'm talking to the guy who doesn't really talk much. And then like the other person will come. And then it's sort of like a novelty. And by the end of it, it's like moths to a fucking flame. Everyone's around him and I've got no one to be around because everyone's bored of my chat by then. And Pete's over there doing tequilas like you wouldn't believe with like 30 people. Well, look, I, I mean, it was just a weird how detailed you went into I'll be honest with you, the, the whole press thing. But do you thank, like how well I know you? But but thank you. It was very nice. I mean, it could have just gone with he's the greatest bloke and left it there. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but I appreciate that. Right. So listen, that's what we've been doing, a bit, bit, bit of press and all that sort of crap. Other than that, we've been very busy and we've been working. But that's boring. We do that every week. Let's go on to some interesting things that we okay. don't normally do. Right. All right. I have got a couple of things here. Um, I don't know what you want to start with. We have got a listener has emailed in. <gasps> So we can go with that one. No, let's obviously do that. No or, one ever emails or, in. Or I've got a little segment for you on social media, which I know you love. No, I think Should we try and do both? Email? All right, let's do email first. So we have got an email. Someone has emailed in I to can't the podcast this. team. Um, okay, you ready for this? I'm going to read this to you. Shoot from the hip. Don't miss. Hi, Pete and Sam. I've gotten myself into a bit of a predicament and I'm looking for some help. Why would you email us? Oh, I think it's quite a clever move. Six months ago, I moved to Sydney from London and jumped on all the dating sites to try and find love. I've slowly caught feelings for a guy, and after several dates, we clicked instantly with our similar humour and personalities. I cut contact with my dad around age 10, and I've had limited interactions with his family other than birthday cards. Well, oh, I know what happens! <sighs> OK, sorry. While having a late night scroll on Facebook, I came across a meme that reminded me of a guy I've been dating. So I attempted to add him on Facebook and tag him to see that he is already friends with my grandparents and my dad's sister. This is not going well. After some snooping, I found that my dad's sister is in fact his mother, making him my first cousin. Sorry, I'm going to read that again. After some snooping, I found that my dad's sister is in fact his mother, making him my first cousin. I've never been happier with a guy and feel we're in such a good place that I'm not sure if I should mention it. Should I carry on and act unaware or do I come clean? And if so, how do I approach it? Thanks. And weirdly enough, they're anonymous. I absolute... Thank you so much for reaching out and sharing that with us. Uh, I think that was quite powerful, to be honest. I think it's fucked up. No, no, I love it because this has got shades of Amsterdam glory hole. It does, and I'm so about this. This, uh, Pete, have you heard about that, by the way? I have heard. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. This has shades of that. I'm going to be honest with you. I think you need to obviously tell him um, uh, because you are cousins. There's no way round this. Tell no him no. I'm of, of a different persuasion here. Okay, this is going to be good. No, it's not really going to be good, actually. Oh, I think that actually... So probably... I just want to point out, so I, I, I just want to make this clear, and it's a surprise, really, to everyone in the room, and I'm sure everyone listening, that I'm the one that doesn't advocate um, incest, but Sam does. Well, no, because you're making it sound like that. You're making it sound negative. The way I see it, right? And first of all, a couple of things here. I can't wait for you to try and tell me that incest is a positive thing. Okay, I'll tell you right now. First of all, and I, I need to say this instantly... It is so cool to receive a listener letter. Like, I'm so happy about that. And I think we need to actually take some time to it think about it. just about sums up our listeners and this podcast that the only letter we've ever received is from someone shagging their cup. Yeah. <laughs> and I, re and I, I really appreciate you reaching out. And I like the way you're anonymous. And of all the people, sorry, to, to, to tell this problem to, why on earth did you think that I was going to give you sensible advice? You're shagging your cousin. Stop it. No, no, no. That's all I've got to say. That is that, that's it's to weird. You. It's weird. Okay, let's just play on each side of the fence here, right? It is slightly odd, but I think it's more odd if you know your cousin because you didn't know he was your cousin. No, of course, yeah. No, I completely get so that. So you hadn't got a clue. So you've had a genuine connection with just another one of the nine billion people on planet Earth. Now, don't try and just dive into my point now, Pete. You do share blood, but you didn't know you shared blood. Yeah, but you shouldn't share So they're not willingly, foods. they're not willingly going, oh, you're my cousin, I want to have sex with you. They found a connection. 
I listen. I'm going to be very honest. I agree with that. It's sad you didn't know, and that's the horrible part of this. But unfortunately, you are still shagging your cousin. But so, he doesn't know. No. So if you just don't tell him, it's not real. But now she does. So now that you do, next time you're in bed, it, it will cross your mind. That's my cousin. <laughs> And I feel like, as much as he doesn't know, it's sad for him, but you should tell him that reason because he 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 deserves to know that he's he's fucked his family. Or or you let it play out. I, I just right? don't let it And you play get out. over the fact that he's your first cousin. No, you Because you've never met him before. Yeah, you can't sort of get over that though, because you can. No, because they're related. But he but but See, it doesn't matter whether they didn't know at the beginning. The fact that she knows now, if she continues to shag her cousin, you're wrong. Okay, if you're in Amsterdam, right, yeah. I get that. Because you're like, well, that's my dad. I've lived with you forever. But if you're cousins from different sides of the globe and you've mm. never met and you haven't grown up together. I say stop shagging your cousin. Yeah, but you're just saying stop shagging your cousin. You're not thinking about the deeper connotations. No, but the deeper connotations, listen, they haven't said that they're in love here. They've just said that they've got a connection, this, that, and the other. You can be friends, and that's still a great connection. You can be soulmates with someone as a friend and not in a romantic way. All the other bits, you don't lose that connection, your family. And at the end of the day, you've met someone who could be part of your life forever. I do have one more question, right? Okay, how about this, Pete? What if she tells the guy, he is like a bit cut up at the start, <laughs> then he goes... I've really enjoyed myself. We don't know each other. We're perfect strangers. But it's not about... I want to carry on. Okay. It's not just about just not knowing each other. It's about the fact that they're cousins. I hope that's helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for anyone else that is looking for sound advice from Sam... Bring it in. Honestly, please, bring it in. We should maybe set up a, a, a little sort of like, Dear Sam and Pete, help me yeah. section. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, let's, let's call it... Yeah, what, what should we call it? Let's think of this. Can I add something in really quickly, though? Uh, most podcasts... Same relevant sad stories. They're not sad, though. They're fucking it's uplifting. It's quite sad because it's she's lost the love of her life because she's related to him. But can I... I do just want to say something. A lot, of other, po a lot of other podcasts do, do these write-ins and stuff, but a lot of these things aren't real. A lot of them actually fake writing in. The beauty of our podcast is we actually have people who are shagging their cousin who are writing in. <laughs> That's what I absolutely love. Yeah, like this is real. Yeah. People are genuinely shagging their cousin and going, oh, "I should probably tell the boys I'm saying relevant about this." Yeah, no. That's where we're at. Yeah, I love great. our listeners. I, I, I yeah. I mean, uh, on that cold note, more thing. from us next week on staying relevant. Sad corner. Sad corner. Um, the staying relevant sad corner. I think that's actually what it should be called, the staying relevant sad corner, where we will help you with any um, advice that you may need. Obviously, we are experts in the... Uh, well, Sam's, <laughs> by the sounds of it, an expert in the world of incest, so he can help you on that. Um, and I am an expert in the world of logic, so I will also be able to help you. Um, so if you would like some advice, please write in, because we do enjoy them. Thank you I'm all so about much. the vibes, man. All Just about saying. the vibes. I'm all about the vibes. Yeah, here. thank you so much, Anonymous. Appreciate it. Um, good luck. <laughs> good luck. With the future. So, I think we actually do have time for another little segment. We're just mixing it up this week. Do you know what I mean? You have some yazoo in your toweling. Um, so, new segment. It's so good. So, next segment, <laughs> social media. I thought you'd enjoy this one. Um, and it's one that you've taken the piss out of me before. So Ooh, fun. I, so, so, I'm going to go with this. Um, we've asked our listeners what their biggest caption icks are. <laughs> All right? <laughs> We've got some crackers here. You ready for this one? What's your biggest? My worst thing that I, this is where it came from, is you know when someone like takes a photo of them in like a hospital and they go like, they're like, like in here, but it's all okay. But they don't say what it is they've got or something like that. And you're like, why have you just done that? Like you don't need to take a photo of you with the drip going into your arm, but you haven't said a fucking word about what you've got. It's like out here today, like, pray for me. <laughs> it's like, but no one knows what the fuck you've got. Like, it's just weird to me. That's what, that's, so that's where it came from. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. That is, that is a fucking weird one. It's been a hell of a day in a gown. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I mean? you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Well, yeah. you haven't fucking told us. Yeah. So what's the point? So we don't care. <laughs> um, these aren't uh, disgusting. But these are just quite annoying ones. So this is from the listeners, what they wrote in. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I have the just... The first one's so fucking I lame. have just posted one that is on this list. 
So that's quite annoying. Um, it's not this one, but this is the first one. I don't play tag. I've always been it. Could I actually, could I? I've never seen that before. Neither have I. Um, but if I did see that, it's an immediate unfollow. Can, can I say another, another massive ick that I have on socials is when people use song lyrics. Oh, oh, someone uses song lyrics. Do you know you do not? I, no, you do not. I think I may have done that before. Shut up. Oh, it's the oh, worst. It's the worst. So, it's the worst. The problem I have, right, is that I don't give a fuck. I, I never know what to write with caption. In fact, the, my, last t my last couple of posts, I've just put an emoji because I cannot be bothered to think of a fucking caption. It's a skull and crossbones, but I didn't realise I'd used it on the post before. And I only posted because I was told that I had to post something because I'd been so quiet. Um, uh, so then I just think, oh, I'll just find a picture and then just whack it up. There's one particular bird, I can't wait to say her name. All she does is fucking song captions. One of my least favourite, um, uh, and this is the, the one that genuinely really gets me, is when it's Valentine's, Christmas, birthdays or whatever else, and you see shopping bags and shopping bags of Louis Vuitton and Selfridges and fucking this, that and the other, and cards and flowers and there's balloons on the ceiling and there's fucking rose petals on the floor. And actually, uh, the, the caption says, boy done good. <laughs> <laughs> boy done good! But you don't know who the boy is. But you don't either. know who the boy is, but what you will see later that day is a... a Rolex. An arm with a Rolex. With a Rolex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, a, in a fucking Range Rover. And he's a drug dealer, and by the way. Yeah, there's a number of reasons why you're not allowed to, to see him. Firstly, because you're embarrassed and you're still messaging other people because you're a dirty bitch. Uh, and bitch. the second one is because he is on the run. But, uh, but yeah, that's actually one of my, one of my least favourites. I did this one recently. No. No. Uh, a little holiday phone. No. Post, and this is like, my absolute pit. Take me back. Oh, God. <laughs> take me back. And it's literally, no, but okay, you probably haven't done this <laughs> because you're not that way inclined. Fair play to you. The worst is when people do take me back and it's them in a bikini. And you're like, I can't even see the I fucking setting. Confirm. I don't even know where you are. I can confirm I haven't done a... Um, a but it, it's them in a bikini with no, with no background at all. Well, there, there's no ambiance. Well, it goes into the next one. I mean, I, they're, 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 you're right. And Take nothing, you back where? There is nothing worse than a photo with no ambiance. No, but do, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's just you in a bikini, take me back. And it's like, but where? No yep. one knows where you've been. Um, but to be honest with you, when I see those pictures of the bikinis, I do think, take me back. <laughs> the next one that ties in with it is, and again, I have done this. Um, uh, if, I you're, if you're about to say the one it, below it, I'm no, going to no, fucking no. die. No, I've never done that one. Uh, that's more you because you've done that one. I don't but know I'm going to get to that. Yes, you have, and I'm going to find it. Um, so the next one is when you put up a picture, and I've, I've done this one, of a pool or some sun or a beach club or a beer in the sun. <laughs> I've had worse Mondays. That's the one I was talking about. Oh, yeah, no, I've done you that. You fucking loser. Yeah, I've done that. How? Um, Your captions stink. I Because I don't care. I You're just a think, stinky I, bastard. <laughs> Do you know what I've... God, I, I don't... I can't believe I have one up on you. Oh, yeah. I, I genuinely am looking this, at you with disgust. But this is why I assumed that this would be something you'd enjoy, because you're the social media king out of the two of us, and I literally have no uh, creative input into social media. I've got no fucking idea. I only post when I'm told to post. Can't think of anything, so I'll just go with, yeah... Had worse Mondays, and there'll be a song over the top, and it's normally one of three songs that I can tell you. Yeah, play. it's Teskey Brothers. Uh, love Teskey Brothers. It's always Teskey loves a bit of country. Like, I do like a bit of country. <laughs> do you know what? As well, I could when now all I can hear it is in Pete's voice. Photo, uh, pool, drink, beer, pool. No, no, actually, it's not even that. What you do is you do beer on bar. In, in, in London, beer on bar in London. Do that. Wednesday meetings. You've <laughs> definitely done that. Wednesday meetings. But I can now imagine, so so photo of beer on bar. In <laughs> do, do that a lot. In Pete's voice, I've had worse Mondays. <laughs> oh my God. The problem, oh. the problem being is that I... I have nothing to post. I never really want to post anything. I get told I've got to post things and I have nothing to post. So I post what I'm doing at the time, which is either, and then I feel like you have to say something if you put up a picture. I don't feel like you can just put up a picture. But I need to just start putting up a picture and just not saying anything because actually when I say things, it just makes me sound like a prick. I have come to the conclusion midway through this <laughs> segment that I am a social media ick all in it. All over. Just 
Ick, ick, ick. Right, I've got another one as well. They're ick, not ick, on the, ick, this isn't on the list, but I've got another one. This is this is awful, and Pete, you'll agree with this one. So, someone in the sun with a laptop going, um, oh, like office for the day. <laughs> office for the day. Yeah. You don't fucking do anything. You do nothing. Yeah. You, you're in crypto. Yep, I agree. <clears throat> office for a day, for the day, with your, with your stupid fucking Apple Mac, which isn't even a thick one, it's a do you thin know what? one. I, I've got a, a story about this. I actually, someone actually did this, and it's one of these oh. people, um, and it went round, and someone sent it to me, and this fucking knobhead had put um, something like that. Not bad when you get to work from anywhere. Um, oh, and, and it was them on a, it. And it was them on a fucking beach thing, and then underneath it was a big thing about how, you know, you know I can help you trade this, that, and the other. Oh, of course it is, Forex. Yeah. And then you actually look on the computer screen, and he was shopping on ASOS. No! <laughs> I was just like, you fucking helmet. Mate, office for the day a, with the laptop there with some graphs that you look at and you're like, you don't even know what the fuck you're doing. And there's a fucking leased Ferrari outside that's not even his that yeah. he fucking sits in the bonnet of and goes, oh, Mondays, hey, office for the day by a pool. Yeah. Ooh. Find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Oh, God, um, and they're in Dubai and you're like, you're just the yeah. worst. This one, this next one, I'm going to let you say, Pete, because I know I've done this quite a few times. Yeah. Now, th one of my favourite ones is, um, well, it's saying that you haven't done the bit after, but it's the gushing posts of just my world. You really showed me what love is. like this With the all, emoji of the world? All, yeah, all, all that sort of crap. Sam does that regularly. Um, uh, him and Zara do these beautiful little gushing posts that make everyone sort of go, oh, aren't they lovely? And, and they make me mute them for a good week or two. Um, despise them. But it's quite nice. But it's the ones that do that, and then you can tell that they're broken up a week later, or they do it three, four times within a year with three, four different people. Um, there are only so many worlds you can have. You are not the universe. Um... The next one is one of my actual pet peeves and one of my least favourite ones. And I know it's supposed to be nice. I don't even understand it. Okay, it's 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 when people put up pictures of their kids, um, uh, and which it sounds like I'm being horrible here, but they put up pictures of the kids and then do a caption that says, thank you for choosing me to be your mum. Now that aggravates me because they didn't have a fucking choice. They didn't choose you, it just happened. There wasn't a choice. There is adoption. All right, if they're adopted, then state that. Hashtag adopt. That's fine. But if it's just your child, it didn't choose to be, you didn't, it didn't choose you as a mother, did it? It just got lumbered with you. And I'm sure they're very happy because everyone loves their mother. I absolutely love my mother, but I didn't fucking choose her. All right? She didn't choose me. We just, unfortunately, that's just what happened. Do you know what I mean? There was no choice by anyone. But I'm very grateful. I love Tracy. Tracy's amazing. We love mum. We do um, love Tracy. I don't know why I said we love mum. I love my mum. Sam doesn't know her. But um, but yeah, it, it really aggravates me, the, the whole choosing thing. Unless, of course, you are adopted. That's a very good point. In which case, state that so we're clear. Golden hour. Golden hour is such a middle-aged fucking... I've gone... I, I, I'm on my holiday. Holly Bobs. Right? I'm on my Holly Bobs. I've got a cocktail. I'm a little bit wavy. Right? Mm. Little bit pissed. Golden hour. Yeah. Uh, just in case um, you're struggling with Sam's accent, he's not saying golden shower, which is a completely different thing. Golden hour is what you're saying. Yeah. Golden hour. Yeah. No, I don't like that one. And it's often quite... Do you know what else? Is? People do golden hour, and um, uh, you always see this, is people that have got nice eyes, and they look up into the sun and do the golden hour as the sun's coming through a window and do a golden hour because their skin always looks great and their eyes look great. That's a really annoying one. Stop doing that. We get it. You've got nice eyes. Shut the fuck up. Also, there's another one on this list I really quite like. You do you. Yeah, you do. You do you. And it's them. This. This is them. Against the wall. Against the wall. In some sort of quite revealing outfit. Are you saying this because I've done this as well? No, you. Have you done that? I don't know. I've, uh, there is a photo of me doing that, <coughs> and I can't remember what the caps. I think I might. Have you do you. I think. Hun. I might... oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, that's a bad one. I, I've i uh, got another one, work hard, play hard. Yeah, that's a fucking, that's a terrible one. Work hard, play hard, next to a Ferrari that you've leased. Yeah, all of these, quite bad. Really enjoyed this segment. Thanks for writing in. We are going to do this one again, actually, because um, I want to hear more. But if you can send us some of the worst Instagram captions, don't just go on mine. Oh, no, one more. Sorry, I've got one more. Sorry. But first, coffee. Never really seen that one, but I do do a lot of coffee posts. No, but you know where they write? They write the caption, but first, coffee. But first, what? Uh, do you know what I do with You're coffee? not a novel. Do you know what I do? Do you know what I do with the, the coffee one? I put fuel, dot, dot, dot. 
You are honestly. I am actually a disgusting. You are a disgusting I might bastard. I have to delete social media. You fucking stink. In real life, I'm not that much of a cock. It's just my my social media presence gives off. <laughs> and there's another one. But last one. Last one. When couples go, I love doing life with you, and then they break up like a month later. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and also you just know it's bollocks um, a lot of the time because behind closed doors they hate each other, like most couples do. Uh, be single, guys. I love my couple, though. Yeah. Uh, no, I love my girlfriend. Yeah, okay, good. Um, excellent. That is, uh, that's true, actually. I'm not going to throw shade on that. That was a fucking great segment. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, well, I, this is why I said we need to do more interactive things. Yeah. I think they're actually quite funny. Send in it, your ones as well. Send more in. We'll yeah. do it. We can do it once a week if they're enough. Yeah, we enjoy we enjoy the interaction with um all of you. Um so yeah, on that note, we'll 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 crack on. Write to us, we enjoy it. Stop shagging your family members and see you all next week. Oh, hashtag out of office. Well, what a lovely episode this has been. I've really enjoyed myself, actually. I love a bit of it. It's nice to mix it up a bit. Yeah. Because I feel like if we mix it up, we might win something. <laughs> yeah, at some point, we're, we're really changing as a point. We're adapting, evolving. How do you feel? Let us know. Rate, review, and do all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't think I've screeched today let either. Us know. No, no, you've been a little bit... I think it's the toweling. Yeah, it's the toweling two-piece. The baby. toweling two-piece has calmed you down. So, yeah, that's us done. Make sure you subscribe and follow us. Stay in Relevant Podcast on Instagram and on TikTok, Snapchat. We will be out on YouTube every Friday and every Monday wherever you get your podcasts from. Just doing cool shit really as Just well. doing cool shit. Yeah. We're just doing I am wearing a suit with a beanie this week. <laughs> so um, So you know that he's on Instagram later going, but first coffee. <laughs> um yeah, but listen guys, you know, just remember Oh OOTD. Just remember you do you. You've just done an OOTD Pete. I'm wearing a suit with a beanie. That's my outfit of the yeah. day. And if you're lucky, I recorded this morning a uh, GRWM. Um, so if you want to see, <laughs> if you want to see my GRWM, um, then make sure you tune in on all my socials because you know what we say, guys. You do you. Ovi, just a quick one before we get into it. Hey! Ovi, do you think it's okay to shake your cousin? The what? Yeah, thank you. There we go. That says I it all. Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a listener letter and she's worried because she met her cousin on a dating site, found out it's her cousin, she's been shagging him. Yeah, tell me about it, bro. Key that in.